What is going on, guys? Today, we are at one of my favorite lakes in Kentucky. This is McNeely Lake Park. The plan today is to get into some fishing and also try out my new drone. Let's get to it. It was a really pretty day at the park today. Unfortunately, there was a lot of people out because it was such a nice day. We had a lot of people having birthday parties and cookouts, so it was really loud. So I couldn't get any audio from my devices. That's why I opted for a voiceover. We're not gonna let that stop us. But uh, I started off with the catfish rig, just trying to see if I can get some grass carp or maybe some channel catfish or flatheads. Um, just using night crawlers to fish around and kind of find them. I need some grass carp for the abandoned farm pond to get some of that algae and watercress out of there. The first setup I'm using today is an 11 foot medium heavy action rod. Uh, I just got some 40 pound braid going down to a 50 pound model leader with a sliding egg sinker, a swivel, and a three aught circle hook. While we're letting that bottom rig soak, I went ahead and grabbed one of my bait casters and I wanted to throw around some uh, hard bait to see if we could catch something. There's a lot of rocks and structure on the bottom of this lake, so I wanted to throw this sexy shad Rapala crankbait, see if I can't bounce this off the rocks and maybe catch us a bass. You may not be able to tell from the video, but it was a very, very windy day today, which made things really difficult fishing wise, but we went ahead and kept fishing to see if we can get something on the bank. After a few casts and no bites on the crankbait, I decided to check my bottom rig to see if my bait was still there. Nothing on the bottom rig, so I went ahead and grabbed another bait caster and see if I can maybe throw something top water. On this rig, I have on a buzz bait with a paddle tail trailer. This is one of my absolute favorite baits to throw for top water. After a while with no luck on that, I decided to switch over to my uh, travel rod ultralight setup with a bobber, a hook and a weight and a big worm and see if I could get something else, maybe some panfish, some crappie or maybe a spotted bass. I had a couple small bites on the bobber, but nothing really took it. So I decided to go ahead and throw it on bottom and see if maybe they're feeding down there. After about 20 minutes of fishing with my ultralight set up, I got a bite on my catfish rod. I missed it, so I decided to try some different bait. This is some homemade strawberry chicken that I make. It's really good for catfish. They absolutely love it. So I decided to double that up and throw it out there and see if we can't get one. After I got that back out there, I decided to grab my ultralight and try to give it another shot with a worm. This time I decided to put on some power bait to see if that would entice a bite. I really was trying everything. Today has just been a really tough bite. I 
I fished around for a little while, trying different spots, and then finally the wind started to calm down, so I decided to take my drone up again. After hours of fishing with no luck, I decided to throw on the old trusty worm, see if maybe I can catch something with this. I threw the worm around a little bit longer, and then something kind of weird happened. Um, there was a guy next to me arguing on the phone with his wife, I'm assuming. And he had bought her flowers and a carrot cake. And I guess he was mad. He decided to throw it in the lake right where I was fishing. So I went ahead and grabbed the carrot cake out. And tried to grab the uh, styrofoam plate to get that out of the lake. Hopefully that guy has a better day. But yeah, that was just kind of weird that he threw all that in the lake right next to me. Didn't even care that I was there. And just walked off like nothing happened, leaving me to clean up his mess. This is why we can't have nice things. Guys, please don't throw your trash in the lake. <laughs> After cleaning up the mess, I got back to fishing, throwing a deep diving crankbait. With still no luck, I decided to grab some power bait though. Throw that on my ultralight setup and see if I can't get anything. A panfish, a carp. At this point, I would take an alligator gar. <laughs> I just wanted to catch something. Um, for such a pretty day, I did not expect the fishing to be this hard. But it was extremely windy, and now you can see it on the video. Even with the fishing being so tough, the day was still a great day. I was able to fly my drone, and I've never flown a drone before. This was all new to me. All the shots that you see in this video, I literally just did myself, and I think they came out pretty nice. So it's a game changer, guys. Getting a drone is a game changer. After about 20 minutes, I got bored and threw on a good old whopper plopper to see if anything will take any of my baits. I must have thrown this bait probably 20 times with no luck. It just wasn't gonna happen today, guys. I don't know if it was the weather conditions. I don't know if the bite was just not on. I don't know what was going on, but I was not able to catch anything. Um, nobody else around was catching anything either, so it wasn't just me. Today was a really tough day fishing-wise. We tried everything. I threw everything I possibly could to try to get something, anything. Um, off camera, I moved around the lake a little bit. It just, it wasn't in the cards for me today, guys. But I had a good time learning to fly the drone and get some really cool shots. And I love being outside and next to the water. So with that said, it's still a great day. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this content, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. And I will see you in the next one.